In this video, we're focusing on strengthening your glutes as well as your deep core muscles so that you can alleviate the back pain you're dealing with. All the exercises today can be done with your body weight, but there's one exercise you'll need a stairs, a set of stairs, or a pull out step like this. And if you're ready to take your exercises up a notch, you can always grab your mini loop band and we'll be using that to add some extra resistance. So let's get started with our 15 minute glutes and abs for no more back pain after C-section workout. So let's get started with our warm up. We're going to start with activating our deep core muscle. That's our transverse abdominis. Think of it as like a corset that wraps around our whole entire abdomen. We are going to focus on the low belly area. So think when you put a seat belt on in your car, it straps right down here. So I want you to pretend you've got a low belly button here and I want you to exhale as you gently draw that low belly button inward. On the inhale, you're gonna let go of it. Belly expands on the exhale. So we are creating tension in that low abdomen. We do not want to be gripping. We don't want to be giving 100%. It is nice and gentle here. Let's go two more like this. And we're going to be using this to add on in our exercises as well. For now, this is our warm up. All right, and I want you to take your wrists and you're just going to roll them here. We will be on the ground. We've got some donkey kicks and whatnot. So we do want to warm up the wrists a bit. I would like you to come onto all fours. Then you are going to drop your forearms down to the ground. Let's bring our left leg out back behind us. From here, I want you to draw that low belly in and just like we started, and we're just gonna lift our leg here. Let's go five more. Keeping that back nice and straight. Good, let's switch. Bring it in and extend out. Keep that low belly in. Last five. Three, two, and one. Nice job, bring it in. Child's pose it out, stretching those arms. And let's come back. I am coming on down to our back. We're gonna plant those feet down about a few inches, our heels are a few inches away from our glutes, and we're just gonna simply do some glute bridges here. Hip bones facing the ceiling, pushing through those heels, only squeeze your glutes on the way up. You got it. Good, I want you to change the feet. I want you to bring both feet touching each other, and we've got some frogger glute bridges here. Again, hips facing the ceiling. Let's go, four more. Three, two, and one. Good, bring it down. All right, let's get started with our workout. We're gonna start with our steps. So whether you're using a set of stairs in your home or a collapsible stair, step like I am, what we're going to do is place our foot flat on when you push through your heel, activating your glute all the way up. We got 30 seconds on each side. Now, if you wanna take this up a notch, you can bring that knee up. So challenging your balance at the same time. Remember where you want to feel this, in your glute of the leg that is stepping up. You should not be feeling this in your knees. Let's switch legs. Again, option to lift that knee or just to tap the foot. After this, 
I want you to grab your loop band and come on down to the ground with me. Good, place that step away. Come on down to the ground, grabbing your loop band, I want you to place it just above your knees and come on down onto your back. We've got some glute bridges with abduction. Head down, we got a glute bridge and I want you to abduct the knees so the knees come apart. At that time, that's where I want you to draw that low belly inward. Exhale at the same time, core connection. Good, you should be feeling it in those glutes. Now, there's always the option. If you're feeling like, you know what, my back is just not ready for this, my core is not ready for this, you can do this without the band. We're gonna come onto your side. Side lying here and we've got a clam. You can take your head in your hand. We're gonna use our core for this one as well. On, you're gonna inhale first. On the exhale, I want you to lift that knee up. Inhale down, core is engaged on the way up. Again, you can also do this exercise without the band. So depending on where you are in your post C-section journey and getting back to exercise, those are your options. I always like to say there is no shame in the modification game, all or side. We modify when we need to, and we can progress when we're able to. Nice inhale first, exhale the way up. Nice job, coming onto all fours. Hands are directly underneath our shoulders. We're gonna bring that leg up 90 degrees, bring it back down. Core is engaged as we do the donkey kick. You can inhale on the way down, exhale, slight tension in that low belly, activating our transverse abdominals. Again, if you feel that maybe the band you have at home is just too much, you're not ready for it, we can do this exercise without the band. If you need to, child's posing out, stretching out, feel free to do so before going into the next side. Good, I want you to keep that back nice and flat. Pretend you have your favorite drink on that low back. You do not want that drink to fall off. I always like to tactilely tap in my low abdomen. If you're not sure, if you're keeping it engaged, tactile feedback is great. Nice job. You can keep the band on. You don't need it on. You don't need it off, but we're gonna go into the next one. Superman's on our chest. What you're going to do is exhale, core engage on the way up. You're gonna lift your feet and your arms off the floor. Come on down when you're ready. Your option here. You can keep your feet on the floor and just lift your upper body. This is also great for glutes and back. Good rest, we're gonna come back up to standing. We've got one minute break, so feel free to have a drink. We're gonna repeat all of these once more. And if you're feeling up to it uh, and you want to use a higher step, maybe it's the second step, 
Go ahead and do that. Just remember where you want to be feeling it. You want to be feeling it in your glutes as you step up. We don't want to be feeling pain, so please do not work through pain. I want, if you are feeling pain, how you stop, right? Maybe that's kind of where your threshold is. Ah, you did half the set, the reps. Um, maybe that's it for today. Hopefully the next time you come back and do it, you'll be able to do more. All right, get that step ready. And we're gonna start here. Back at the top, second time through. Now, if you wanna take this up a notch, you can bring that knee up. So challenging your balance at the same time. Remember where you wanna feel this in your glute of the leg that is stepping up. You should not be feeling this in your knees. Let's switch legs. Again, option to lift that knee or just to tap the foot. After this, I want you to grab your loop band and come on down to the ground with me. Good, place that step away. As you abduct, engage that core, slow it down. You are in control of the band the whole time. Never let the band snap your knees back together. Next exercise on side laying, clam shells. If you want to take this up a notch and come into a side plank, and you feel comfortable to do that, you can. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Feel free to join me here or back down on the ground. Remember, when you are doing this, you should not fear, feel bulging. You shouldn't feel bulging out in the midline. You shouldn't feel like your stomach's bulging out. You should not feel any pressure downward on your pelvic floor. If you do, then we need another strategy for how you are to engage your core. Nice, switch sides. Nice, come on to all fours. Hands directly underneath your shoulders. We've got donkey kicks here. Remember, core is gently engaged. As you kick up, low back, nice and flat. Hold back, flat actually. As you're kicking up, do not lean over to the other side. Keep your neck in line with your spine so you're not looking up. You're keeping your eyes and your gaze downward. Good. Child's pose it out if you want to stretch it. You guys are doing great. I hope you feel proud of yourself for getting this done today. Let's go to the other side.
Good job. Come on down to your stomach. Last exercise here with our super moms. I call them super moms instead of supermans. All right, arms out in front of you. Remember your option to keep your feet on the floor. Nice job. All right, we're gonna stretch it out. Let's take this band off of our lower body. And let's just stretch out the glutes here. I want you to extend both legs out. Let's bring the left ankle on top of the right knee and bring that right leg up. All right, you're gonna push through your palms, bring your bum off, 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 butt off, off the floor and rock forward and backwards. So we're just stretching out our glutes here. Good. And let's go to the other side. Extend that out. Bring it up. Good, last one right here. And I wanna finish with a nice low back stretch. So I want you to take your legs, cross them over. You're gonna take your left palm and you're gonna slide it out to the left. Make sure you keep your right sits bone on the ground. And then you're going to take your right hand and you're going to walk it forward. Almost like you are pulling your body in two separate directions, forward and to the left. Yes, we're, you should be feeling this in your right back, low back. This is your QL muscle, your quadratus lumborum. Oh, I want you to breathe through this here. And of course, we are only stretching to a comfort, right? We don't wanna overstretch and feel pain or pinching. Let's slide those hands back in. Let's go to the other side. Right palm flips up, reach, reach out to the side. Let's take the left hand, walk it forward. And yes, you may be feeling the stretch a little bit deeper in one side than the other. That's okay, I want you to inhale, breathe through it here. I think we're really expanding in the ribs on that inhalation. Good, and then let's bring it back. I want you to roll over onto your side and we'll just stretch out the quad muscle, the front of your thigh, grabbing onto uh, your shoelaces or the top of your sock. Just a nice gentle stretch here. Good, let that go. We're gonna roll over onto the other side. And same thing here. Good, and let that go. Now ladies, I know it can be daunting getting back to exercise after your C-section. Your doctor hasn't given you much information on where to start, what to do first. So if you are looking for a tried and true, how to get back to doing what you want to do? How do you get rid of the belly paunch? How do you get rid of those burning, stinging, maybe uh, tingling feeling in your C-section scar? Then join me in my C-section strong personal training program. I want you to click the link down below the work with me link and let's tee up a time to chat together about that. So if you want to know what's next, come check out this video here. Very popular exercise after C-section. We are employing our foam rollers as well. So we've got some glute strengthening, we've got core building and we've got rolling out our glutes. So make sure to check that video right here and I'll see you in the next one.